Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I come to you live, not live, because <laughs> this is a video, so this is not live, this is recorded. I come to you recorded from the Nerd Bar in the Nerd Cave. It's a special occasion, and I am enjoying a nice frosty beer. Someone asked me in the last video uh, what I have on tap. Uh, right now I have uh, beer flavored water, aka Mick Ultra on tap. I got that for a party that we were having here and uh, that was the consensus as to what people wanted to drink most. Last keg I had in here was Stella. I've got Mick Ultra in here now. So, so uh, yeah, less calories and uh, less flavor. <laughs> Anyway, why am I here in the Nerd Cave right now? Why am I drinking a beer? Because this is a special occasion. Why is it a special occasion? Because this is episode 75, and for episode 75, I am bringing to you part two of my Cincy Nerd collection. So part one has gotten a pretty good response. Uh, a lot of views there, a lot of people liked what they saw. Part one was uh, the Hot Toys collection, basically. All my Hot Toys that are in my uh, finished basement here, my sideshows, uh, basically anything that someone would see if they were to walk in here and uh, come down to the Nerd Cave. But uh, you're in for a special treat because what you're about to see is usually not shown to the general public here. Come with me as we take a tour of the Inner Sanctum of Cincy Nerds Nerd Cave. I've got a little hockey on right there. NHL Live or NHL Tonight. Anyway, this door, behind this door, a lot of people haven't seen this. You need to uh, do the secret knock to get in here. Did you hear that? That allows you access, special access, to the nerd cave. Let's go in there. You guys are probably like, just get on with it, jerk off. Quit messing around. So let's do that. So we are in the unfinished part of my basement. And you're about to see all the stuff that you guys probably collect. You guys are here for Pops, Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, maybe some Star Wars, maybe some Black Series, maybe some Masterpiece Transformers. Maybe some Hasbro Transformers. <gasps> Ooh, what do you see behind me? There's some pops right there. So basically, yeah, all the stuff that you guys subscribe to my channel for, that's what you're about to see. That's my collection down here. This is my special place. This is my happy place. I'm, gonna, I'm about to show it to you. So sit back, get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack. This might take some time. And let's check out my collection. Don't call it a comeback. The fan for my furnace is running right now. I guess because it thinks that it uh, is too hot, cold in this house. 60 degrees outside, so I'm not sure why it's running, but anyway, that's not the point. Let's check out this uh, collection of mine. So I'm going to start up here. I kind of have things sectioned off based on uh, what property they're with or if they're Marvel, DC, whatnot. So let's start over here. So we got the X Men. Got the Colossus Kamikaze Pop, New York Comic Con Kitty Pride and Lockheed. Got those uh, newly released X Men Pops, Professor X, Deadpool coming down here. I didn't really have a place for my aliens, so you got the Queen Alien there, you got Ripley. Moving on to the Civil War Pops. So the exclusives there. Age of Ultron Hulkbuster from the Marvel Collector Core. Moving on to Spider Man, Iron Spidey, $20.99. Glow in the Dark Black Suit Spidey from Walgreens, Marvel Collector Core Spidey, Carnage, Venom, Green Goblin. I'm not going to name them all. 
you guys can just look and see what I got. Moving on to the Doctor Strange Pops. And then it kind of transitions to DC from here on. My Teen Titans Go Pops. I love these guys right here. Got these guys in pop protectors. There's Clark Kent. And more DC stuff down here. Got my Suicide Squad Pops. I think I've got all of the Harleys that have come out. And I think I've got all of the Jokers that have come out as well. All the exclusives. There's a non Suicide Squad pop that's a New York Comic Con Killing Joke Joker. Moving on to the Batman Superman Pops Toys R Us 2 pack. Doomsday. Underwater Aquaman. Got these patina pops. I love these patina pops. Freaking awesome paint jobs on those. Dark Knight Returns. Just got this one. Was that today? I think that was today. There's another Dark Knight Returns. And then got the Golden Age Batman. I have run out of room on my shelves. So here is a selection of pops that I don't have room for, and I'm going to be putting in boxes until I have room for them. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys, and you can see what I got. Got my horror pops there. The mystery horror pops. Got all those uh, Teen Titans Go where they're wearing the Justice League outfits. New York Comic Con Rainbow Batman. All right, let me stand up and show you this other shelf. All right, where were we? We, st we left off with Deadpool there, so there's Cosmo. Specialty Series Pop. Big Trouble in Little China, Low Pan, Glow in the Dark. Got my Lemmy, which I recently got. And then here's some more oddball stuff. There is the clear Vader that I got in the Smuggler's Bounty Box. A couple of rock candies. I don't really collect these, but I liked these Wonder Woman a lot. I got these actually for the girls, uh, but I'm keeping them up here for them. A couple Dorbs, Walmart exclusive uh, Two Face, and Collector Core Two Face. This is an exclusive Laughing Ultron Dorb from a Collector Core box. So, um, this guy right here, Jax Teller, is the first pop I ever bought. I didn't even buy it for myself. I bought it for Mrs. Cincy. And then I also bought this uh, porn stash and, uh, what's her name? Piper, I think is her name, from Orange is the New Black. Got those for Mrs. Cincy, and that got me started on collecting pops. So, moving on to the Star Wars stuff. Thank you, Rube DeGrade, for sending me this Kid Fisto. Thank you, Rube DeGrade, for sending me this Blow Coon. Thank you, Rube DeGrade, for sending me this General Grievous. Rube DeGrade, you are great. Greatness tour. Got this Ahsoka. Saw Guerrera. Not, still not sure why this does not have a sticker. None of the saws have a sticker. Kind of disappointing. Takes away from the piece. Sabine from Walgreens. Jin Urso. Jen or so, Cassian Andor, Jen or so. <laughs> There's Biston, a couple more exclusives from Rogue One. Moving on down here, more Star Wars pops. I love this uh, Forlorn pop. Love the way he looks. This uh, Kylo Ren unmasked was meant to be a stocking stuffer for me, but. Uh, I saw the box when it came, and I took it out of the box, and I'm not sure if Mrs. Cincy knows that I took it out of the box. Moving on to the 
Turtles. Can't wait for that Casey Jones pop to drop. A couple Thundercats that are vaulted. Mumra and Panthro. I then uh, have all of my Quentin Tarantino movie related pops together. So there is Crazy 88 from uh, Kill Bill. There's a couple Sons of Anarchy pops. I kind of bought those for Mrs. Cincy too. She loves that show. But there is uh, some Pulp Fiction stuff. Mia, Vincent Vega, Jules. Some Hateful Eight pops. I still need the um, Sam Jackson from that Hateful Eight. There's some Breaking Bad pops. Probably my favorite show of all time. And then more TV shows that I like. Preacher. I love that Bloody Cassidy. It's a cool pop. And then uh, Walking Dead. There's Tyrese. Biker Daryl. Negan, the man. And then some Game of Thrones pops. So we've got Mag the Mighty. Rhaegal the Dragon. Viserion the Dragon. Glow in the Dark Night King there. Ramsey, an awesome villain. Khal Drogo. And Ned Stark. So that, my friends, is the pop collection. Again, for room's sake, because I've run out of room. I tend to stick to the exclusive pops just to kind of limit what I'm going to be collecting. But I do have quite a few um, common pops in there and vaulted pops. Because you never know when the, when the current common is going to become the next vaulted. All right. So moving on to my six inch figures. Give you a quick shot of them. I'm going to start with my DC figures. So, I don't have that many DC Multiverse figures, but the ones that I do have, I really like. There's Supergirl. I really like that Supergirl. There's Doomsday, build a figure. I'm going to get him out of the way so you can see the Game of Thrones pops that I have. Let's see if I can get a better shot of these guys. The flash is really bright. All right, I took the tripod off so I can get a little bit of a tighter shot of these guys. But I uh, really like my Game of Thrones figures, and I got most of them on clearance, so it makes it even better. I still need the Khal Drogo, and I think the Rob Stark I still need as well. But moving on to my wrestling figures. I am a big wrestling fan. Got the man KO. I need a Chris Jericho to go along with him. Sasha Banks, who is the new champion. I need to give her a belt. Got the New Day. There's Charlotte, Ambrose, Finn, Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe. Got the Shield. How awesome was the Shield, by the way? You might boo Roman Reigns now, but the shield was the frickin' S! It's Kalisto. John Cena. Orton. Rock. Lesnar. Heyman. And then I got the classic uh, superstars in the back. Trish Stratus. Stone Cold. Triple H DX members right there. A couple Undertakers. A Kane. All right, so that is the wrestling figures that I got. So who wants to look at my Marvel Legends? I know most of you guys collect Marvel Legends. Guys and gals, excuse me, collect Marvel Legends. So let's just go on down the line. Arnim Zola is missing a head. I need a head for him. Preferably the one with the little yellow eye, because that goes along with this face. I'm not going to name all of these Marvel Legends. I'm just going to give you a quick scan. I'm going to try not to bump them, because I'm getting kind of close. Hulkbuster, 
Look at that massive bastard. He's looking sexy. He is sexy. Juggernaut. So I kind of um, have my Marvel Legends gripped together by the wave that they are in. I know some of you put them together by like all the X-Men together, all the villains together, but I don't do it that way. I like to uh, know which figures I have from which waves. So There's some X-Men there. There's some Space Venom in the back there. I'll go back there in just a sec. Here are some Doctor Strange. Some Spidey. Love that carnage. More Spideys. I like that head sculpt for that rhino more than the one where he's like yelling. But I do switch them up. If something has multiple heads, just to keep things fresh, I will switch things up. Dormammu. Space Venom. Very, very cool build to figure right there. I do have some of the Space Venom figures. I basically bought these loose from, uh, I think it was at C2E2 or Chicago Comic Con, one of those. Abomination Wave. I still love this Abomination Build-A-Figure very, very much. Highly, highly underrated wave, if you ask me. And there's a Daredevil. Alright, we got some Onslaught Wave figures. I don't have Onslaught. I'm trying to complete Onslaught, but right now I need arms and legs. So back to these. There's the three pack right there. Cap, Iron Man, and Spidey. I gave Cap his shield since Spidey's holding it in the package. Love that Falcon, love that Winter Soldier, the Walmart exclusives. I really love this War Machine too from the two pack from Target. Disco's hiding behind the wings there. Black Panther. One of my favorite Marvel Legends figures right there is that Black Panther. There's Giant Man. And that, my friends, is it. Hopefully I didn't miss any, but there is the Marvel Legends collection. Moving on. You can see there's a lot of clutter down here. <laughs> I'm not 100% done like f cleaning things up and fixing things up the way that I want to. Uh, I still got uh, a lot of stuff to put away and whatnot. There's a pretty awesome Boba Fett helmet. All right, moving on to Star Wars stuff. So I got all the Rebels stuff kind of uh, set aside. There's my Rebels figures. Five points of articulation, but I love them. Love that show. Love all the vehicles that have come out with Rebels. Moving on to Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch and Vintage Collection. Those Magna Guards are badass from Vintage Collection. There's the Ahsoka I just recently got. And I try to keep these in uh, movie order. And they're not all up there. I'll show you the ones that I haven't... I don't have room for right now, so they're kind of in a box. Empire, Return of the Jedi. And there's a new Lando standing next to Nine Numb. Yeah, all right, and uh, I do have some Rebels figures that I have not taken out of the package yet. We've got a... Uh, Darth Maul and one of the uh, Inquisitor, is that what her name is? Sister Inquisitor. I've got that Rex from Rebels and I've got the new Sabine and I got the Leia right there. And then this one, I think I found this one at like, I, I found this one at a um, half price books for like two bucks. It's a Ralph McQuarrie concept. 
C3PO and R2D2. Celebration 4. That was a while ago. Alright. Got some 3 and 3 quarter inch vehicles back there. If you remember the videos for those, got the um, the black X-Wing from Rogue. Not from Rogue One. Force Awakens. And then the uh, Resistance X-Wing. Got a TIE Fighter. And I got some Black Series 6 inch figures here. So we've got Ahsoka, Kanan. Here's the new Leia that I got. Here's Jin from the three pack. K2SO. There's the Walgreens exclusive C3PO. Love that figure. Excellent looking figure. More Rogue One. Emo Ren. <laughs> and then we've got what started it all in the late 70s and early 80s. What got me collecting these classic vintage Star Wars figures. I don't have that many of them, but uh, the ones that I do have, I absolutely love. This is my childhood right here you're looking at. Got a couple of uh, Disney Store vehicles, those die-cast vehicles. Got a couple big-ass figures, Darth and the uh, Inquisitor. Got a, just a couple of the uh, Black Series small vehicles. I love that Darth Vader uh, tie. And then there's Poe Dameron's X-Wing. But that is my Star Wars collection. And you can see I've got stuff that I just don't have room for. I've got a few lightsabers. Got that Boba Fett helmet. Got some uh, more classic stuff, that Rancor. And uh, let me show you some other stuff that I got. These are the ones that I don't have room for. A lot of good ones in there. I just need more room to display them. And then I also don't have room for these guys, my Joes. Which I'm very sad about because I love my Joes. They're all just sitting in there chilling. Alright, so. The final stop on Cincy's Collection Tour is my Transformers Collection. And I'm going to start with my Masterpiece and Masterpiece Third Party Transformers. Got a couple of the Iron Diebots from Fans Toys, Soar and what is that MFer's name? Sever? I think that's Sever. Starscream, Thundercracker. In my opinion, this is the best shockwave that's been produced. Got the dark toy colored Quake Wave. I think the masterpiece shockwave, pardon my French, is shit. There's Soundwave, Mitron, who looks freaking awesome. There's MP10, Ironhide, Ratchet, third party Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, third party Mirage, third party Hound. I don't remember their fake names, so I'm just going to tell you what their real names are. There's a Masterpiece. Wow, this flash is really bright. You can't even see Bumblebee's face. But there's Bumblebee. Got the tapes. These are some of my favorite Masterpiece scale pieces, these Insecticons. I just think they're freaking awesome. But that is my Masterpiece scale Transformers collection. And moving on to my Hasbro stuff. Fort Max looming in the background. But I, um, I'm very fond of the Combiner Wars 
Um, I just love them. I got Superion, Computron, Defensor, Defensor, excuse me, Menasaur, Bruticus. And for all of those except for Computron, I have the perfect effect add-ons. Hands, feet, in some cases additional torso parts like Menasaur and uh, Superion have. There's Skylinx. Thank you, Rube de Great, for finding that guy. Rube de Great finds everything I'm looking for. Got a lot of the Headmasters. Loving those Headmasters figures. Loving them. There's Galvatron. Scourge. Two of my favorites, Astro Train and Blitzwing. Can't wait to get the third-party versions of those. Chigger and, uh, what the frick is the other guy's name? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Gewalt or something? Gewalt and Chigger? I don't know. Something like that. And then, uh, yeah. So there is my Hasbro. Transformers collection. Masterpiece collection. Hopefully I didn't go too fast through everything. I feel like this has gone by a lot faster than I thought it was going to take. But hopefully you all got a good shot. There's my hockey equipment. Good shot. All my Hot Toys boxes are down here as well. Good shot of my collection. I'm going back. Ending where we started. The Pops. Got that new Kamala Khan in there. And Scarlet Spider. Mm, but that is... It. I guess I'll show you this while I'm down here too. Um, I like to switch out the art on my walls. This is all my extra art that I have. So it's like an Alex Ross signed print or limited print. This is freaking awesome right here. So uh, the artist of Justice League, what did he draw? Justice League America, I think? Kevin McGuire. He's a very famous artist. I got him to sign this limited print and it's Spidey and all of the villains. And the reason why this is kind of um, a rare piece is because Kevin McGuire, I don't believe, drew for Marvel. He drew mostly for DC, so something like this is um, pretty cool. But I do switch out my art, and um, I just like to display all the different things that I got. But uh, yeah, just want to show you that as well. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I think this uh, went by a lot faster than I thought it did, uh, but uh, I'm wearing my Seekers shirt. For anyone that doesn't think I'm a bot guy, look at the collection and I'm wearing a freaking Seekers shirt. But uh, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna edit this probably tomorrow night because I'm tired and it's like 12.30 in the morning. But I wanna thank you for joining me on this tour. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Hope you got a glimpse of my world. Let me know uh, what you think. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. And as always, have fun collecting. See you guys later. Have a good night.